Hey guys, it's Fred and Sheila McCoy again. We're back. And, uh, we're, uh, we're at the Hatfield McCoy Museum in Liberty, Kentucky. And go to fredmccoy.com for all the information on it. We, we just done a video, mm -hmm. a little short one that we wanted to cover some things on. And while we were doing it, I thought about another one. And so this is going to be a short one. But I've read in uh, books throughout the years, or at least one one book, one author, he, he's always contended that he, his favorite saying is, what did Randall McCoy ever lead? How was he uh, the leader of the Hat, of the McCoys in the Hatfield-McCoy feud and all that? And I was reading a, a thing last night, it said, uh, on a Facebook thing, and it said, what did Randall McCoy ever lead uh, to be called the leader? And guys, uh, Randall McCoy never professed to be the leader of nothing. This is not a name that Randall McCoy uh, gave himself. This is yeah. not he for self... Huh? He didn't claim to be a leader? He did not uh, self-proclaim okay. himself the leader of the McCoys. He didn't follow the media around, newspapers specifically, uh, authors. He, he, didn't, he didn't say, come here, let me tell you my story. Come in here, let me tell you what happened to me. Now, there's rumors that people says, oh, if you went to Pipe, well, you seen Randall McCoy, and he was telling everybody he knew. And that's what Altina Weiler says. Well, she told me not to mention no names, but anyway, certain things you just can't get around. It's, it's yeah. in her book. Uh, you know, it's not something I'm letting a secret out on. Mm -hmm. If you don't want that's these right. things quoted, don't put them in books. Or, but <laughs> Randall, what did Randall McCoy ever lead? I, I don't know that he ever wanted to be known as a leader. I'll tell you what he led. He led in having the most children murdered mm -hmm. by the West Virginia Hatfields. He was a leader there. He led that group. He, he was the leader. He led Devil Lance to six to, to zero. Devil Lance lost no children, direct children, during Hatfield-McCoy feud. So I, I guess Randall McCoy led i keep looking at pictures over there but mm -hmm. that's ran on devil ants over there on the walls what i'm looking at but um yeah, yeah I, I guess he did lead in that respect um he he led he led the mccoys uh and he led frank phillips with the nine prisoners to louisville kentucky to stand trial he, he led them there. Uh, so, you know, him and Jim McCoy, the one that that says that, that was, he was a peacemaker and wanted to make peace. No, no, Jim McCoy was one of the people that led Wall Hatfield, Selkirk, uh, Cottontop. He led that Mayhorns. He led them to, to court. And uh, so, yeah, he, he led that. Um, if I remember correctly, and I do, we've got a warrant downstairs on the wall from the West Virginia governor, Willis Wilson, for the arrest of Randall McCoy. And he's right at the top, him and then Frank Phillips and Jim McCoy, where he put out warrants for the Kentucky bunch for coming to West Virginia when they killed Jim Vance and they killed Bill Dempsey and they took the other prisoners and brought them back. He actually put out uh, West Virginia warrants. We've got it downstairs. Uh, so I, I think he led them there. So for all these people, when you're on these Facebook pages, and that's great. I mean, like I said, I scam through them every now and then. Mm -hmm. But it's the same garbage. It's the same stuff that you can put out there that's anybody can get on our post under any name you want to. And like I said, since we've called Devil Lance's uh, Civil War records into question publicly, which we have for years and years, but never like this. And we've shown documents where he was a private. We've shown where books, yeah. authors, pe different peoples called him captain. Why? Why? They called him captain because he had it inscribed in his monument. Captain Anderson, Wilm Anderson Hatfield, captain. It's, it's astonishing what people can believe or how easy it is to fool people and to make people think something or because they see something inscribed on a, a monument. Um, 
how, how easy it is to, for, to make people believe that. And how easily people are persuaded to believe it. When you can show a person proof, a Civil War record, that says private, and you can say, please show us any anything where he was a, a captain, ever commissioned a captain in the Civil War. Nothing, nothing, zilt, nothing. But yet they still want to refer to him as that. If you want to say it's his nickname, I mean, that's fine. At least say that it's never been known as his nickname. That's his Civil War, alleged Civil War rank. And you know, when he took his men, or I ain't gonna say his men, when he took his family members and friends. Mm -hmm. Now, it wasn't only Devil Lance that deserted Randall and Uriah, my great grandfather. It wasn't only him. One man's not gonna make that much of a difference in a, a, a fight. Hopefully he wasn't that bad. So it wasn't one man, but when he left, he went around to the men. That's one thing they probably got right in that movie, the miniseries. Devil Lance went around to the men. He supposedly went around to my great-great-grandfather, Uriah McCoy, and asked him, Uriah, a bunch of us men get ready to leave. We're, we're out of here. Come with us. And Uriah got with Randall, and they, they, they couldn't leave the rest of the men. Some of the men was already up in front. They were in front of where Uriah and Randall and Devil Lance was. What are you going to do? Leave, leave them there, and then... And then there they are, and that's what happened basically because even though Uriah and Deb, uh, Randall, Randall had to go forward with the rest of them, they were ultimately taken prisoner of war. The ones on the front line were killed while Devil Lance and the rest of his family members, look, look at the family members that served in the Civil War during that time. Look at the dates on their muster rows. They all, they all uh, deserted about the same time. When that muster roll come around, they only done the muster roll the first of ever. I think it was three months, ever three months first, and then it went to they was doing them every month. So, you you if you deserted on the uh, second of July, it's not going to show up until the first of August the following month. So there's there's so many things, and you know, without going into it, it's like the the graveyard that people argue about the monument being on the hill. It's there at, Ram at Devil Lance's funeral. And yet we've asked, show us one picture. Step over here, Sheila. Well, it's not a wide, yeah, yes, here's a wide view. Here's the monument. Mm -hmm. Show us one picture. Here is John C. Hatfield's grave. John C. died 14 months later. Show us one picture without that. Show us Devil Lance's grave. You got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures of Devil Lance, his family, the graveyard. Do you know to this day there's never been one picture? But yet they say it took them five years. On the historical papers that we've got downstairs, the family says they put that monument there five years later. Mm -hmm. He died in 1921. They said they put that there in 1926 when that monument arrived. But yet there's not one person, there's not one picture of Devil Lance's grave in six years or five years with, with, with just a grave there without that monument. Without that monument, we, we don't buy that. Now you guys can buy it if you want to. Um, we don't. We're, we're just, uh, we just want to make this video because like I said, I've seen that over the years and I've seen it in this one gentleman's book. I, but you see a lot of stuff in his book that's so off the wall. I don't know. Sometimes you wonder if these people... Okay, I'm seeing this. So I won't comment badly. Yeah, I'll try to go to the higher side if there is one. The sad thing is, all through the years, everybody's took the low side when they're talking about Randall McCoy and his family. Mm -hmm. And the high side when they talk about Devil Lance Hatfield and his. And it, they're... It's, it's so wrong. So where did Dev, Randall McCoy ever lead anybody? He led people a lot of places. And he definitely led Dev Lance in having the most children killed in the fight. Yeah. Um, I don't think Randall McCoy's goal in life was to be a leader. I don't think he tried to be a leader during the Civil War. He just tried to be faithful to his oath 
and to the men that was in front of him fighting him and Uriah. I think he just tried to be a man of his word. When he said something, he done it. Mm -hmm. I think he tried to be a family man, take care of his family the best he could. But every time he done that, it seemed like more of them got killed. And uh, so man was destined from, from the time uh, the Civil War started. He was destined to be a loser. He was a loser, not by choice. He kept fighting. He kept trying to do things, trying to... Uh, have a home, trying to have land, trying to farm, trying to run a ferry boat, whatever he tried to do. He didn't just give up, but his life was short, rough, and then for his death to be characterized like it has mm -hmm. been, even by his own great so-called, so-called, until we see DNAs, mm -hmm. because it's for, I mean, I, I ain't saying it can't happen, but I'm not even, Randall McCoy was not even a, my he was my great great uncle, mm -hmm. uh, but that's not really that much relation to me. For me to be taken up for devil for Randall McCoy, right. you'd think that his great 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 grandson, if he is in fact that, and once we see DNA, we'll know that. Mm -hmm. But you would think a, a great 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 grandson would take up for their grandfather, his grandfather, when he was so unfairly treated through the years. Yeah, that is. Strange. Huh? That is strange. It is strange. It is strange. Now, did he get manipulated by the West Virginia hat? Well, not even West Virginia Hatfields. Uh, the Hatfields from Waynesboro, Virginia, that he's supposedly signed a peace treaty uh, with a peace treaty that Jim McCoy <laughs> and Tennis Hatfield took care of way back in mm -hmm. 1928. Yeah. That was Jim McCoy, Devil Lance's youngest son. It don't get no closer than that. Devil yeah. Lance's youngest son and Randall McCoy's oldest son. Mm -hmm. And then in 76, when Jim McCoy and um, Willis Hatfield, the only living Hatfield at the time of Devil Lance's, had another peace treaty, had another bury the hatchet, another handshake, another it's over. And then you have Ron McCoy come in here from North Carolina and don't even take up for his so-called great-great-great-grandfather. The very person that should be taken up for his, his McCoy side of how his great-great-great-grandfather was treated. You know, some people says, you all don't treat this fairly. Guys, how do you treat something fairly? We tell the truth, or we try to. I'm mm -hmm. not saying we don't make mistakes. Well, but sure. So far, other than saying that Cotton Top was the last hanging in Kentucky. Uh, we've not been corrected on nothing else. But um, there is no evenness. There is no fairness. Hatfields, McCoys. Who lost the most? Who McCoys. lost the most children? McCoys. Who, who, you know, who lost the most loved ones? I seen one time where they said Devil Lance had so many at his funeral, so many of his grandchildren and great grandchildren, really. Let's take away seven, seven children with Rosanna and Wilm yeah. and the five that was murdered. Yeah. Let's take away those seven children. Let's take away his brother and let's take away his nephew. And let's add up all the offspring that they had. Asa had Lark and Jacob and Nancy and uh, Bud and Jeff. Yeah. Uh, let's take, you know, let's put all them back. Mm -hmm. And let's let all of them have grandchildren. Let's see how many. And great grandchildren. They would have had, yeah. And let's see how many people, how many more people would have been at Randall McCoy's funeral. This ain't something I should be bringing up, Ron McCoy. If you are the great great grandson of Randall McCoy, this should have been your book. This should have been your history. This should have been your research. Instead of copying off other people the stories that's been told for years and years research your great great uncle great 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 Grand uncle, grandfather jim huh oh okay go ahead. jim mccoy where jim mccoy says never mr hatfield never will i comp will i compromise and, and we make up mm -hmm. as I, long I, as there's breath isn't it huh didn't you say as long as there's breath in as me? long as there's breath uh, I will never, it's never going to happen. Call him Mr. Hatfield, being respectful. 
called them devil ants at the end, but never, never nothing like I would have called them or something if I was back in that day and it happened to my family. Very gentlemanly. Yeah. Ron could have done that very gentlemanly. He could have covered his great, great, great grandfather when we see a DNA on Ron and we know that Ron is who he says he is because these people are saying things and nobody's calling their hand. I, I seen another gentleman that says he, he was in the war. He, this, this was on the Hatfield side. He was in a, the war. I, I can't find it. That don't mean it didn't happen. Don't mean it didn't happen by no means, but that's one of our questions we're working on. And some of our history, it takes a while to get military records. But there, there's a, a gentleman I talk about. Let's see. Let's see because, you know, there's an old saying, if I lie to you about one thing, Mm -hmm. I'll lie to you about something else, and uh, I, I'm having I'm having a problem finding anything. Not that it ain't out there. Not that I haven't overlooked it. So far, I haven't found it. And with some of the other stories that this man has told, mm -hmm. that's total lies, it makes you wonder: Is this a lie? Because you know, uh, stolen valor, stolen valor is a very uh, common occurrence, especially in this day. Mm -hmm. Stolen valor. I was in this war. I was in that war. I was in the Marine Corps. I was in the Army, the Navy. I did this. I did that. Uh, really? And what unit? And what MOS? And what rank? And what dates? And what wars? And, and what battles? And um, the discharge? Uh, you know, if you're a military person, it's downstairs. But if you're a military person, one of the most proud things you can have is a military discharge, especially one from the United States Marine Corps, Ugh. because that's that's the Marines. There's no military force, and I love them all. Now, I'll ride them and carry on with them, but uh, we all know the Marines are the best, and that's just the way it is, and the way it always will be, and always has been, but I love all our military services, but we do have a lot of stolen valor. How we got on that from this thing on where did Randall McCoy lead anybody? I don't know. That's why you got to watch our videos yeah, because do. I drift so much. You may <laughs> think I'm talking about one thing, and I may I, I bet I've covered six different topics standing here just now. Mm -hmm. And she's back there motioning to mm -hmm. me that this video is over, guys. Thanks for joining us. It's Fred and Sheila McCoy Hatfield McCoy Museum. <laughs> Hi again. Hope you're having a great morning. Please like, subscribe, and share. Catch you on the next one. Thank Bye. you all.